Good evening, my dear friends. I'm so delighted you all could take time out of your cleaning cycles to join us on this magical night of mystery and murder. <laughs> all just fun and games, my dearest friends. Well, I think we ought to kick off. Thank goodness we got out of the cold, eh? Mr. Battensox, I do believe you're reading ahead. Oh, you're right. I am so sorry it won't happen again. Splendid, Robert. Now, I think we ought to kick off the introductions for tonight's evening of festivities. Tonight, we are gathered here at this dinner table to solve the murder of our friend Solomon Grant. They say the murderer still lurks around these streets at night, waiting to find their next victim. Or should I say, victims. victims. Thank goodness we got out of the cold, eh? Mm -hmm. I'm happy we're all here. I was worried someone was going to have cold feet. Oh! Robert Pattonsox, you are a funny man. That's me, Robert Pattonsox. With spirits knee high, I think we ought to introduce ourselves. I'm Archibald von Quadenoff, and this is my lovely wife, Vanellope von Quadenoff. To my right is the world-renowned Madame Monsieur. They are the greatest golf player in North America, and Nova Scotia. Hello. Across from me is one of Archibald's dearest friends, Lady Marmalade. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you are retired now. Ah, wonderful. It's lovely to finally meet you. You spend all of your time relaxing and unwinding. Now that's the lie. Look who's talking. The most incredible cashmere face that has ever graced the silks on screen. Robert Pattonsocks. That's me, Robert Pattonsocks. Every time, this one. And finally, how can we forget about the business tycoon? The man who exudes gluttony and greed through every stitch. The Wolf of Wall Street, Barnabas Snead. Was that supposed to happen yet? I don't think so. Not until after dessert. Oh my lord, Barnabas Snead is dead! The, kill the killer must be in the house! It seems to be so, Robert. The killer must be. Fred, not, dear friends. We must stay still at the table and hope they go away. Really? Really grand idea! We could spend some time figuring out what happened to Bodipus. I wonder what could have happened to him. Yes, it's quite peculiar. Maybe it was the pasta. Pardon? Maybe it was the pasta. Are you doing all right, darling? Yes, I am. You are? I am, Mrs. Von Coldenor. The killer's on the wharf? No! Maybe it was the cold. Are you feeling a chill? Darling, you have so many holes. No wonder you've gotten a chill. Quite fitting for a golfer. Let's see if we can fix that and hopefully your talking issue. I think we should look for some clues. Ah, uh, yes! The murder! We should look around the table for some clues. Look under your plates, everyone. Nothing here. Nothing here. Hmm. I wonder where one could be. Maybe there are clues in the kitchen. What about this box? Oh, that box! Yeah, so let's see what's inside. Honey? Did you continue without me? Oh, I assumed we were all right. I assumed you were off doing things as well. Well, you know the clue part is my favorite part. It is now. Hey, Lady Anne, what's your real name? Psst, Miss. Why? Do you look tired? I ought to be off. Did you write that line? No. Did you? No. Let's just stick to the line. How about that? Robert. These? What are they even for? What is happening right now? You called this a murder mystery party, yet the only mystery is how you came up with this idea. Is it dinner? Am I third wheeling? 
Are we laughing? Why did you take me? I was totally fine and comfortable in the drawer. Just let me go. Please. I mean, he is partially right. We should have used the space better. Maybe walk around to find some clues. Yes, it is just a dinner, I guess. But with overcomplification. Yeah, we should have written this a little better. Was Barnabas supposed to die first? No, I was supposed to finish lighting marmalade before we got on to dessert. Dessert! I can't believe we forgot about that. We could make something nice out of Madame Montier. She was supposed to be the sacrifice. Yeah, maybe a nice parfait. Ooh, that should go well with Barnabas. He's been marinating in that bowl for quite a while now. Should we do something about him? I think so. Actors these days, going off script, thinking they're better than the text. His performance tonight was bloody contrived. Yes, indeed. I much preferred him in Twilight. Well, this is quite romantic. Huh? Indeed it is, darling. Let's do something more low-key for day tonight. I agree. Do you want to finish him off? You do the honors. I love you, darling. I love you more. Day night tomorrow? Wonderful. Should we find some new friends? Yes, I hear floor four has a good amount of loose socks. How splendid! But first, we must finish our dinner. Of course. <laughs> Mind if I have a bite? Not at all, darling. Mm. <laughs> 